technology level two free ross how are you doing i'm very good tim how are you i'm great thanks for asking uh ross are you interested in technology yes i'm very interested in uh, consumer technology mm -hmm. so con consumer technology means like pe uh, technology just for uh for people the public i see oh well, what new gadgets specifically are you interested in um these days i checked out uh like apple apple uh apple has new computers laptop computers and uh you know like iphone 12s so they're pretty cool and uh the technology is getting better faster lighter so mm. when it comes to technology are you usually an early adopter uh no i'm not usually an early adapter i wait for the maybe the second or the third edition of uh, of things yeah i suppose so am i uh, have you bought any new gadgets recently um no not really i think uh the last thing i bought was my ipad that i'm using on this uh this video call now um mm -hmm. last year uh milton Keynes, who is a famous economist, he's maybe the most famous economist of the 20th century, he said that um, in the 1930s or 20s or a long time ago, he said that our grandchildren will only have to work 15 hours a week. Um, why do you think he said that and what do you think he got wrong? Why did you think he got it wrong? Um, I think he thought that robots would uh, do all the work, uh, so all the work would be automated. Um, by machinery or uh, yeah, robots or AI, uh, but uh, the technology has not uh, increased as maybe as fast as he expected. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. Yeah, I think a little bit more of like he. I think he underestimated how much productivity would increase. So I think he was thinking about like um, you know like uh, replicating the productivity of the 1930s, which is obviously you know in our times today. We can probably do this, you know, we can reach the same productivity uh, working maybe a couple of hours a day. Uh, but I mean, he underestimated how much productivity would explode, I suppose. And even though, you know, like our productivity has exploded, we still are not satisfied with that. We're going to work for more and more and more. Um, so I thought it was a funny prediction. Uh, it's really, really hard to predict things. Uh, in the future. So, Ross, what is your prediction for the future? Um, well, we're starting to see it now with uh, with self-driving cars. Um, and, yeah, in the distant... Uh, also, uh, there's also uh, high-speed tunnels that people can travel through, like uh, Elon Musk is doing the boring uh, company, making big tunnels, uh, and Hyperloop, I think it's called, so people can uh, commute at faster speeds than the Shinkansen. So um, I think that's uh, really interesting technology and maybe in the next 10 years we will uh, see that more and more. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds great. That sounds great. Um, it's difficult to predict what has yet to be invented, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, and I mean, even if we did, we would almost certainly be wrong. Uh, well, what is your? What do you think is the most important invention of the 20th century, Ross? Oh, definitely the internet. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Uh, what do you think, Tim? I agree. I agree. Why, why do you think so? Um, it's just made uh, uh, the world interconnected, and it's reduced uh, uh, the need for travel. And um, uh, communication has been become instant, instantaneous. Uh, so you can commu communicate with anyone anywhere in the world uh, anytime uh, in like automatically. Mm -hmm. uh, it has made our lives better for sure. Um, in what way has it made our lives worse, Ross? Worse, worse. <laughs> That's a hard question. Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, how is the internet made? <laughs> I've got no idea, Tim. What do you think? Uh, well, I think it has made our lives worse in many ways. I mean, for example, I mean, especially if you think about the social media, um, it allows, I mean, obviously it allows, you know, for us to connect with each other, but it also allows for, you know, rogue elements of society to connect with each other. Um, uh, for example, terrorist propaganda um, uh, or right wing, uh, right wingers. Um, it also, I think it also has 
maybe pushed uh, humanity into extremes, um, you know, by only giving you the news that you like, um, you know, the algorithms by the social media. Uh, it basically cements your opinion a certain way and it pushes it a certain way as well. So yeah, it, it, has, it has, especially social, when talking about social media, I think they have made our lives worse for sure actually um yeah, so yeah. That's what i would say yeah and yeah i think yeah people are it can become addicted to uh social media or there's some overuse of uh of social media um and um yeah just ov overuse of the internet can be a problem for many people yes I, and i think it has a slightly changed the perception of value um or what, what constitutes value for example um uh, like if Justin Bieber, um, you know, if Justin Bieber presses like on a certain ra restaurant or, you know, tweets about the restaurant, which is uh, like it takes a second of his time, uh, that restaurant's fortune has totally changed immediately. I think that's, I think that's strange, actually. Uh, you know, like one person's push of the button just changes the fate of like, uh, like, uh, like a family or like a, like a group of families. It's, it's, it's crazy, I think. Um, so then, uh, Ross, thank you so much. It was great talking to you. Thank you for sharing your ideas about technology and see you soon. See you, Tim. Thank you.